Welcome everybody to the East Fort Worth and Riverside Area Infrastructure Improvement Design Meeting. The, uh, if you can see this screen, uh, the chat is in the bottom right hand corner. If you have questions as this is being presented, please post your questions in the chat. When the presentation is done, we'll answer those chat questions first. And then if you are a call-in user and you can't see the screen, we will take the questions from the call-in users one at a time after the chat questions. This presentation is being recorded, and I'm going to hand this off now to Brenda Oropesa, who is your project manager. Thank you for joining us today. Gracias por estar con nosotros hoy. Esta es la junta sobre el diseño de mejoras de infraestructura en el este de Fort Worth y Riverside. Por favor, publiquen sus preguntas en el área de comentarios. Al terminar la presentación, responderemos a las preguntas en los comentarios primero. Luego tomaremos preguntas de los usuarios que nos llaman por teléfono una pregunta a la vez. Esta presentación está siendo grabada. All right, so during today's agenda, we're going to go over the introductions of those involved with the project, an overview of the project and the project area, as well as frequently asked questions. Durante la agenda de hoy, vamos a cubrir um, las presentaciones de los que están involucrados con el proyecto una descripción del proyecto, el área que vamos a estar trabajando en y las preguntas fre uh, y respuestas frecuentes. Your design project team includes myself. I'm the project manager and my name is Brenda Oropesa. My phone number is 817-392-8271. That's 817-392-8271. And my email address is Brenda dot Oropesa at fourthwordtexas.gov. That's B-R-E-N-D-A period O-R-O-P-E-Z-A at fourthwordtexas.gov. El equipo de diseño del proyecto me incluye a mí, la gerente del proyecto. Me llamo Brenda Oropesa y mi número de teléfono es 817-392-8271. Ese número otra vez es 817-392-8271 y mi correo electrónico es brenda.oropesa.fortworthtexas.gov. Eso es b r e n d a punto o r o p e z a arroba fortworthtexas.gov. Right, for our project overview, Overview, we will be replacing um, the existing sewer and water mains in the area bound by Bird Street to the north, Calmar Road to the east, Flory Drive to the south, and North Riverside Drive to the west. The construction will impact the Carter Riverside, White Lake Hills, Ryan Wood, and Woodhaven Neighborhood Associations, Riverside Alliance, and Riverside Business Alliance, and the neighborhoods of East Fort Worth. This project is in Council Districts 4 and 5. Descripción del proyecto. Se reemplazará la actual tubería del drenaje sanitario y del agua potable del área que se encuentra entre Bird Street al norte, Calmar Street, Calmar Road al este, Lorry Drive al sur y North Riverside Drive al oeste. Los labores de construcción afectarán a las aso asociaciones de vecinos de Carter Riverside, White Lake Hills, Ryanwood y Woodhaven. Riverside Alliance y Riverside Business Alliance y el área al este de Fort Worth. El proyecto se encuentra dentro de los distritos municipales 4 y 5. All right, so with this first map, um, we're showing the, pro the first project area being affected. We have the alley between North Riverside Drive and Klecker Avenue from Murphy Street to the north, and we will be replacing the sanitary sewer in this area. En este mapa estamos enseñando la primera área que vamos a estar trabajando en. Tenemos el callejón entre North Riverside Drive y Klecker Avenue desde Murphy Street hacia el norte y vamos a reemplazar um, la línea de drenaje sanitario en esta área. Right. On, with the second map, we have the first area is the easement between Randall Mill Road and Chandler Lake Road, north and south of south of Lake Havasu Trail, which is this area right here. We will be replacing the sanitary sewer there. 
Next up, we have the Lake Havasu Trail east of Randall Mill Road to Chandler Road. We will be replacing the water and sanitary sewer in this area. The easement between Lake Havasu Trail and Blue Lake Drive west and east of Candlewood, Candlewood Road. Um, that's this area right here. Um, next up, we have the Blue Lake north and south, north of the dead end, north of the north dead end, so just above the dead end there, um, to Rain Tree Court, which is this line right here. Aquí tenemos el segundo mapa que enseña otras áreas donde vamos a estar trabajando. Tenemos, tenemos el derecho real entre Randall Mill Road y Chandler Lake Road, norte y sur de Lake Havasu Trail, que es esta línea de aquí. Vamos a reemplazar la línea de drenaje. Enseguida tenemos Lake Havasu Trail al este de Randall Mill hasta Chandler Lake Road. Vamos a reemplazar el agua y la línea de drenaje en esta área. Um, seguido, siguientemente tenemos el derecho real entre Lake Havasu Trail y Blue Lake Drive, oeste y este de Candlewood Road, que es esta línea de aquí. Vamos a reemplazar la línea de drenaje sanitario. Y también tenemos de Blue Lake Drive al norte del callejón sin salida norte al Rain Tree Court, que es esta línea de aquí. Vamos a reemplazar el agua y la línea de drenaje sanitario. Right, continuing on this map, we have the easement between Blue Lake Drive and Green River Trail um, north of Rain Tree Court. That's the sanitary sewer we will be replacing right here. The easement between Candlewood Road and Oakland Boulevard south of Lake Havasu Trail, which is this line right here. It will be the sanitary sewer line. And the easement between Woodhaven Boulevard and Boca Bay Drive north of Boca Raton Boulevard uh, we will be replacing the sanitary sewer there. Right. Aquí tenemos el mismo mapa enseñando más áreas en esta área que vamos a estar también trabajando en. Tenemos el derecho real entre Blue Lake Drive y Green River Trail al norte de Rain Tree Court, que sería esta línea de aquí. Vamos a estar reemplazando la línea de drenaje. El derecho real, el derecho real entre Candlewood Road y Oakland Boulevard al sur de Lake Havasu Trail. Vamos a reemplazar la línea de drenaje allí. Y el derecho real entre Woodhaven Boulevard y Boca Bay Drive al norte de Boca Raton Boulevard. Y vamos a reemplazar la línea de drenaje aquí. All right, so this is our final map showing um, the other areas we're going to be working on. We have the easement between Enoch Drive and Sandy Lane from Lowry Drive to the north to Brentwood Stair Road. We will be replacing the sanitary sewer here. The easement between Sandy Lane and Etterville Road from Etterville Lane North. So that's this area right here will be the sanitary sewer replacement. Um, we have Warren Lane from Etterville Road South just north of Brentwood Stair Road will be a sanitary sewer line replacement. And the easement between Warren Lane and Mew Street from Joseph Lane to the south, which is this line right here, will also be a sanitary sewer replacement. En este último mapa estamos enseñando otras áreas que van a estar um, van a estar siendo reemplazadas. Tenemos el derecho real entre Enoch Drive y Sandy Lane desde Lowry Drive al norte a uh, Brentwood Stair Road, que es esta línea de drenaje de aquí. El derecho real entre Sandy Lane y Etterville Road, desde Etterville Lane al norte, que es esta línea de aquí. Vamos a reemplazar la línea de, de drenaje. Warren Lane, desde Etterville Road al sur. Vamos a reemplazar la línea de drenaje allí. Y el derecho real entre Warren Lane y New Street, desde Joseph Lane hacia el sur, que es esta línea de aquí. All right, so what streets will have construction in the streets? Those include Lake Havasu Trail from Randall Mill Road to Chandler Lake Road, Blue Lake Drive from Rain Tree Court to the North Dead End, Murphy Street from Riverside Drive to Clucker Avenue, Green River Trail from Lake Charles Avenue to Lake Charles Avenue North, Lori Drive from Calmar Road to Enoch Drive, Warren Lake from Brentwood Stair Road to Etterville Road, 
¿En qué calles se harán los labores de construcción en la calle? Estas incluyen Lake Havasu, Trail desde Randall Mill Road hasta Channel Lake Road, Blue Lake Drive desde Rain Tree Court hasta el Callejón Sin Salida Norte, Murphy Street desde Riverside Drive hasta Clucker Avenue, Green River Trail desde Lake Charles Avenue hasta Lake Charles Avenue North, Lori Drive desde Calmar Road hasta Enoch Drive, y Warren Lane desde Brentwood Cell Road hasta Edderville Road. Will you need to access our property? Construction will be located in various streets, alleyways, and easements. If an easement is needed, you will be notified by the city land agent. Temporary right of entries will be mailed out prior to construction. Necesitará acceder nuestra propiedad. La construcción se realizará en varias calles, callejones y derechos reales. Si se necesita usar el derecho real, el agente de bienes raíces municipal se lo notificará. Los avisos del derecho de entrada temporal se enviarán por correo antes de iniciada la construcción. Will our sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line or easement line, and the sewer cleanouts provides easy access if a backup or blockage does occur. Se interrumpirá el servicio de drenaje. No se, se interrumpirá el servicio de drenaje sanitario. Se instalarán nuevos pozos de visi, visitas en las líneas divisoras de propiedad o el derecho de real. Los pozos de visitas ofrecen acceso fácil a las cuadrillas en caso de un bloqueo o obstrucción de la línea de drenaje. Will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for about 15 to 30 minutes when the services are being transferred from the existing line to the temporary water line and when those services are being transferred from that temporary water line to the new water line. Se cortará el servicio de agua. El agua se cortará durante 15 a 30 minutos mientras que transfieran los servicios a la línea de la línea actual a la línea temporal. Y de nuevo, cuando el servicio se transfiga de la línea temporal a la línea nueva. What happens if my property is damaged? The contractor will take pictures and video of the property before starting construction. We also do encourage property owners to take pictures and video of their property before construction starts. The contractor will restore the property to its original condition. ¿Qué pasa si mi propiedad se daña? El contratista tomará fotografías y videos de la propiedad antes de comenzar la construcción. También alentamos a los propietarios a que tomen fotografías y videos de su propiedad antes de que comience la construcción. El contratista restaurará la propiedad a su condición original. Will the construction affect my irrigation? The contractor will ask property owners to turn on the irrigation system so sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. The contractor has to cap those existing irrigation lines before construction starts and will replace capped or damaged irrigation systems. Los, los labores de construcción afectarán a mi sistema de riego. El contratista pedirá a los propietarios que enciendan el sistema de riego para poder, poder ubicar y marcar las cabecillas de los rociadores. El contratista debe tapar las líneas de riego antes de que comience la construcción. El contratista reemplazará los sistemas de riego tapados o dañados. All right, so timeline. This is our design meetings. The next steps will include um, finishing the, the design and advertising for bid for construction, opening those bids. Then the city council will approve um, the award to, will approve the lowest contractor's bid and award it to that contractor. We will then hold a pre-construction meeting with the contractor and the inspector and before construction begins, we will hold a community um, WebEx meeting, community construction WebEx meeting to update, update those impacted by the project with more information um, relating to those construction details. And then construction will begin. Cronología. Esta es la junta de diseño. Los siguientes, siguientes pasos incluyen 
publicidad de licitaciones presupuestales para la construcción, apertura de licitaciones presupuestales, municipio aprueba la concesión de licitación presupuestal al contratista, la junta previa a la construcción con el contratista y el inspector, la junta sobre los labores de construcción comunitaria WebEx para actualizar a quienes resultan afectados por el proyecto, y finalmente um, comenzaría la construcción. Where can I get more information? So progress for this project will be updated on the City of Fort Worth website on that link you see on your monitor. But you can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and put in the project number, which is 102784. Again, that number is 102784 in the search bar on the homepage. And that is an easier way to access that um, project web page. Um, the link to this meeting video, the project map, and the project summary and frequently asked questions will all be linked to that project page. ¿Dónde puedo obtener, obtener más información? El progreso del proyecto se actualizará en el sitio de Fort Worth en el enlace que ven en, el, en su monitor. También puede visitar a www.fortworthtexas.gov y ingresar el número del proyecto que es 102784. Es un número de nuevo es 102784 en la barra de búsqueda de la página de inicio. El enlace al video de esta junta, el mapa del proyecto y el resumen de su proyecto y preguntas frecuentes estarán visualados en la página del proyecto. Right above are some important contact information you might want to jot down. The project manager for this project is myself, Brenda Oropesa. That's B R E N D A O R O P E Z A. And my phone number is 817 392 8271. Again, that number is 817 392 8271. My email address is brenda.oropesa at fortwoodtexas.gov. If you need to report any water main breaks or sewer backup emergencies 24 hours a day, you can do so at 817-392-4477 and select option one. Again, that number is 817-392-4477 and select option one. Our non-emergency call center number it's open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday to Friday at that same number, 817-392-4477. And it is closed city holidays. Aquí tenemos unos contactos um, que a lo mejor quieren apuntar. Yo soy la gerente del proyecto. Mi nombre es Brenda Oropesa. Mi número de teléfono es 817-392-4477. 8271. Ese número otra vez es 817-392-8271. Y mi correo electrónico es brenda oropesa arroba fortwordtexas.gov. Ese es b r e n d a punto o r o p e z a arroba fortwordtexas.gov. Eso es f o r t w o r t h t e x a s punto g o d d Para reportar emergencias puede llamar al 817-392-4477. Ese número otra vez es 817-392-4477 y seleccione la opción 1. El centro de llamadas de no emergencias está abierto de 7 a.m. a 7 p.m. lunes a viernes. Y ese número es igual que el anterior, es 817-392-4477 y está cerrado los días festivos. Right, thank you. Um, I will be handing it over to Sally for questions. Gracias. We, we have one in the chat. Uh, the question is approximately which month do you all expect that council will approve the bid? 
Uh, we expect it probably um, January next year. Okay. Thank you. I know I'll have some questions about that for my areas. Brenda, do you want to translate that? Oh, for the, oh, um, la pregunta era, en qué mes expectan que esté el, la ciudad apruebe al contratista? Y, y creo que esto va a ser durante enero del segundo, enero 2022. That's the only question we have in chat. It looks like we have three call-in users. Do you have any questions? Theta, do you have a question? Uh, I was working on typing it. Yeah, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yeah, my question is, uh, you said you would take the contractor with the lowest bid. Do you mean the lowest bid or the contractor with the best and lowest bid? We will, um, the lowest bidder will have to have pre-qualifications in me, but we will do the lowest responsible bidder. La pregunta era, ¿van a estar nomás yendo con el contratista que um, esté más barato y vamos a ir con el contratista que esté más barato, pero también tiene que estar precualificado con la ciudad? Uh, I have another question. This is Theta. Another question. Um, I live on Blue Lake Drive on the, the section of the street that ends with the cul-de-sac where there's a lot, has been a lot of problems with the water main over the 16 years that I've lived here. And I'm, I'm sorry for getting in late. I had some trouble with the WebEx, but um, so I missed, is that, is the process that's proposed now part of the um, correction, permanent correction to that problem or the best correction to that problem? You see what okay. I mean? Are you on the street right here, you said? Uh, yes. So yeah. No, 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 I'm on, the, I'm, I'm on Blue Lake Drive down by the cul-de-sac. Oh, down here? Yeah, I'm down by the cul-de-sac at the end of, at the very end of Blue Lake Drive. Now, so closer to that Bridge Street? Uh, no, you're right. You're probably, you were probably right where you had right. your, yeah. Just, this is like a dead end, like a, I think right here, right? Uh, that's probably right. I... We will be replacing if you're, um, cause rain tree courts right about here, I believe. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So we will be replacing that water main. So that should, um, fix any issues you've had with your water. Okay. La pregunta era, um, vamos, que si vamos a tenía problemas. Aquí en Blue Drive, al norte de Rain Tree Court, y quería saber si va, tenía problemas con agua, y quería saber si el proyecto iba a resolver esos problemas, y si vamos a reemplazar la línea de agua para resolver esos problemas del agua. Okay, Brenda, we've got two more questions. What about our driveway access during construction? Will we be able to get into our driveway? Yeah, so you shouldn't have um, problems for most of those constructions. However, when we're doing pavement, they might need to close off access for a little bit, but the inspector or the superintendent at there will let you know 
if your access will be limited. Um, la pregunta era, durante la construcción voy a tener pro problemas con mi entrada de coche y durante la mayoría del proyecto no tendrá problemas por si alguna razón tienen que estar trabajando en su área para cubrir la calle y se le cierra la, la carretera para el carro, la abrida para el carro, le de le diría al inspector en el proyecto antes de que eso pase para que esté listo para esa disturbiencia. Okay, the next question is from Terry. Will the neighborhood entrance for White Lake Hills at Lake Havasu Trail and Randall Mill be closed at any time for the construction? White Lake Hills at Lake Havasu Trail and Randall Mill. Since we don't have a contractor on board yet, we are not sure what the traffic control will be. But once we have that construction meeting, um, we can provide more details on that. La pregunta va a ser, durante la construcción, se va a tapar esa entrada de Lake Cavazo Trail y Randall Mill Road. Y ahorita no tenemos un contratista, o so no sabemos cómo vamos a estar cerrando esas calles. Cuando tengamos la cita de construcción más tarde, vamos a tener más um, detalles en cómo se van a cerrar esas calles. Okay, I don't have any more in chat. Do you, any of you have more questions? Okay, uh, this is, yeah, this okay. is thing. I, I do have another question. Um, there's on my property, like a lot of other uh, homes, on the stretch of Blue Lake Drive that I'm on, mine is particularly bad. I have really bad drainage from uh, the streets above me. Um, is Will this correct any of that? So this isn't a storm drain pro uh, project, but I can get in contact with um, the TPW staff that does work on storm drains and let them know you have an issue to see if they want to um, have a project out there when we're out there. That would be excellent. This it, this really is uh, an ongoing problem that sometimes is really bad. Of course, um, can I get your name and number so I can get them to reach out to you as well? Sure, it's uh, Theda, T-H-E-D-A, Lynch, L-Y-N-C-H, and my address is 621 Blue Lake Drive, and my number is 817-247-7099. All right, I will have, um, I will reach out to them and have them reach out to you as well. All right, um, thank you. Yeah, no problem. La pregunta era que um, en Blue Lake Drive hay problemas de drenaje y quería saber si esos problemas iban a corregir con este proyecto. Este proyecto no va a corregir um, el drenaje en la área, pero voy a um, ponerme en contacto con TPW para ver si ellos pueden uh, hacer un proyecto mientras estamos allí afuera con este, con este proyecto. Okay, do we have any questions from, let's say Terry, and I don't know who at home is. Do you have any other questions? Or Theta? Um, that's all that I can think of right now. Those are the hot buttons for the water issues in my area that I'm aware of. I do have a question, if you don't mind. I'm Terry. Okay. Um, the entrance of White Lake Hills at Randall Mill and Lake Havasu Trail has a garden that's maintained by the neighborhood and there are irrigation lines that run through the garden. Um, I can send you some contact information uh, for someone who can run the irrigation system for the contractor but otherwise they may not know who to contact about that when they do some construction through there. Okay, that'd be perfect. Thank you. 
La pregunta era que hay un jardín allí en la área de en la entrada de Blue Lake Drive y Random Mall Road. Y quería saber si podía mandarme la información del contratista que hace las líneas de, de agua allí para la, el jardín. And um, did you write down my email so you can get that to me? Or do you want me to read it out loud to you? I have the information. Okay, awesome. Thank you. And we will also have um, a meeting prior to construction. If um, y'all have any more questions, um, please do join at that time. And uh, my contact information is on the screen as well if anything else comes up that y'all can think of. Okay, if there are no more questions, we'll close the meeting. Uh, if, if you can see the screen, you got a couple more seconds to write down that phone number and Brenda's email address. Thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you for joining. Thank you, everybody. Okay, we're gonna close the meeting and we'll come back and see you guys in a couple of months. Thank you.